For many riders looking to shell out on a new lid, one of the key considerations will be aerodynamics. One of these helmets could make you faster, and while the watts you'll save might be small, they add up to a lot of free speed. Here are six of the very best aero road helmets. One of the most common helmets that we see in the Pro Peloton is the S-Works Evade from Specialized. That's not necessarily because this is the fastest helmet on the market, but more because Specialized sponsors the largest number of teams. In our testing, we found it to be an impressively cool feeling helmet for one with such a small number of vents, and it's impressively comfortable too. On all but the hottest days or steepest of climbs, the Evade 3 kept our reviewer Stu very cool. As the autumn temperatures kicked in, he could feel the air entering at the front and passing over his head before exiting out of the rear. Compared to the Evade 2, this lid apparently draws 10% more air across the head, but unusually for specialized who really love an aero claim, there are no go-faster figures attached to this helmet. An evolution of the Protone helmet, the Cask Protone icon is reckoned to have improved on its predecessor in every way possible. Well, it's not like the Italians to be bold with their claims. Anyway, if you like bold tech claims, then Cask says that Protone has an incredibly aerodynamic and top performing shell, which they say has been tested in the wind tunnel. Further to this, they claim that in any position the head will assume, the outflow of air will be perfectly in line with the helmet. But that's not the important bit. Our tester was very impressed by the Caspro Tone Icon. It's easily the most comfortable helmet he says that he's ever ridden. It's not cheap by any stretch, but it is extremely good. Now I have to say that the Abus Game Changer is one of my favorite aero helmets of all time and one of the only aero models that I'll actually wear thanks to its extra sleek fit. Now, Abus says that this is the ultimate aerodynamic helmet for performance road cycling and points to the time that they spent developing it with Team Movistar. Not content with just that, they also claim that with its multi-position design, the Game Changer completely redefines aerodynamics as every airflow is optimized for real race conditions. Coming off the sides of the helmets are aerodynamic, flutter-free and skin-friendly flow straps. Now they were developed with a special strap profile, just to keep you nice and aerodynamic really. Um, and then airports at the back of the helmet can hold your sunglasses very, very securely. The Laser Vento Kinetti Core is an impressive and innovative helmet that mixes decent airflow with a new fitting system and good looks, and it avoids giving you the mushroom head looks of some aero helmets. Designed apparently to be fastest in a sprint position at 15 degrees, Laser says that airflow is optimized to help you increase speed and progress up the leaderboards. Now that is marketing speak for you. While being apparently very fast, this is also a very comfortable helmet helped by the soft straps and plush, well-positioned pads. The pads don't tend to soak up too much sweat and they dry quickly too, but the straps are quite wide and can interfere with glasses. So maybe want to try before you buy. When the road goes uphill and you want to take your sunnies off, Laser says that you can keep them safe by storing them securely in the vent docking system. A nice touch to finish on is that the laser claims to be using 90 grams less plastic than in the Laser Bullet 2.0 MIPS helmet. This is a helmet that you'll find both myself and Jamie are both big fans of. In fact, we've both spent our own money on one. Call is shallow, but a big part of it is down to the looks. You'll normally spot the Trenta with a few tufts of hair sticking out of the top, as it is Pogaccia who wins pretty much everything from classics to mountain top finishes wearing one. Met have recently added MIPS to the Trenta and have managed to do so without adding tons of additional weight. In fact, just three grams, and our size small weighed in at just 223 grams. That's lighter than many non-aero helmets and about 
25% lighter than many options here. Met claims that the fancy carbon fiber bits are there to help keep the weight down and are structural rather than purely aesthetic. There is a cheaper non-carbon version at 220 quid that offers the same aerodynamic claims, safety and ventilation, but it is slightly heavier. And before you ask, yes, your sunglasses are secure in this one too. This is a helmet that we first saw used in the World Tour in 2021, and Giro claimed that it is 163.5 seconds quicker than the Aether, over 100 miles at 25 miles an hour, which is, I don't know, useful if you're a professional rider. You've got to love those pro average speeds. Many aero helmets can suffer from poorer ventilation than non-aero lids, but the Giro Eclipse performs really well on this front thanks to those large front vents and the Rock Lock 5 retention system that holds the helmet just slightly above the skull. Our only slight niggle with this helmet is its compatibility with long-armed sunnies. We found that a few interfered, but still a great helmet. If you're in the market for a new helmet, then we'd seriously consider checking out one of the aero options we've mentioned. A modern aero helmet can save you roughly 10 watts at 40 kilometers per hour, which is by no means insignificant. There's other less talked about benefits too, such as reduced wind noise and the fact that few vents and ventilation can actually sometimes be of benefit, keeping you warmer on winter rides. Let us know which one you choose down in the comment section below. Now, if you like this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe for more, and we will see you in the next one.